What's up everyone, Windows 7 Blogger here. After finally many months of testing, I am now finally ready to do my review of the HTC HC7 based on the Windows Phone 7 platform. So, no enjoy everything, let's start rock and rolling. So, simple, let's have a quick look at the phone. You've got your one switch up the top here, you've got your my and not snide but there's your sound nothing on the left hand side and then the ports are down the bottom you get your headphone and your thing also what's good about it is you can have a nice stand up more than that in a minute but anyway let's turn this thing on you guys want to see it actually turn it on or not let's you know what Let's say goodbye for a moment. And then, we'll turn it back on. Now, I've not done factory resets on this. I thought it would be much more easier to show you. Right there, but I went through at the beginning, I'll put the original link down at the bottom of the setup video. If I actually did post it, I can't even remember. It's been that long. But yeah doesn't take long, it takes faster than an iPhone to do. And there we go. So let's lock it first. And as you can see, I love Windows Phone. Well, you know the answer to this thing already. So, as you can see, got the nice little hub thing. Now, this would be like if you bought HTC HC seven four mode two. Now me, I don't like it. I like going dark. Much more easier to probably see on a camera. And I like red. And it stands out a lot more. So there we go. Another random text. So let's do a little thing that people like to see. Oh, how does it turn on? You know, how does it make a call? And let's get my sample phone. Let's ring the number. No, I don't. Da -da. It makes a call. One missed call, yes, we don't care anymore. And of course, people can call you back. But enough that. Now we go on to the People's Hub. Which I won't show much of. You get your contacts. And you get your Facebook. It's absolutely fantastic. It's good the People Hub is everything in one area. So you get the latest Facebook, I call it like the top updates, and then you get your recents and everything. And then you can click on yourself. I haven't done a status for quite a while. But as you can see, um, you get synced to your Windows Live, other mail, and me Facebook. Let's see, can you see this random picture? Yes you can. But enough of that. But anyway, you get all your being people it's basically the home page. So you're fantastic. So enough of that. Messages. Oh, of course you know how messages work. Look, you click on the messages. It says put it D one it. Okay. See this is my Twitter feed. Because I like all my MSP stuff to go into one place. That's messages everybody. So the best thing, what I love about everything can in one place, is your mail. So I'll show you my hotmail. There's not much here. And look, and you click an email. Duh -duh. See, can I get one which is interesting? Um, this one. I'll show you a Twitter one. You have to press on download messages, but as soon as you get that, 
We've got three, and then, of course, you can turn it round. And there you go. Now you can read it in a different way. So that's messages. Well, that's not messages, that's your mail. Uh, another one of my favourite hubs is the Office Hub. On every single Windows Phone 7, get an Office Hub. So, let's do Explore Word. So, of course, you can lift it this way. You can read it in the portrait way. Nice, smooth thing. And then you can watch it in landscape. Well, not watch it, but you can read in landscape. And then you can create Word and Excel documents. So very, very easy to use. So you've got your Facebook and Twitter. been many things. You've got Internet Explorer, which I'll do a quick show to you. Currently white. And there you go. So, I like... It's both ways you can do portrait, landscape, I like sometimes writing it this way. But the only problem is when you have it that way, you cannot change the address. Hopefully there'll be a fix for that soon, so. Go straight to the website. And yes, that's blakefender.co.uk. And there you go. Site loads pretty quickly. Very nice, even though it's an older version of Internet Explorer, and IE9 is coming soon to the Windows 27 platform. To what rumours I heard? But yeah, you get everything's there, but you all know my Facebook and my Twitter, so enough of that. And then you get the Xbox Hub. What I love about this hub is that everything is all in one place as well. Let's play a good game. One of the three games, but I absolutely love this game. Well, I think it's quite good. Give it a moment to load. Right, so I'm going to get this ball somehow to here. Okay. Yep, this is a random game. I don't know who the publisher is, but I want a super, super quick review of it. Very nice, very smooth. And it's quite a good game, actually. And there you go. Game completed in 35 seconds. <laughs> hey, boy, going, oh, Blake, but what's the um, Xbox Live Hub like? I'll show you then, shall I? So you can add me on Xbox Live, Blake Tender. There's not many spaces left. So I would seriously recommend if you do want to add me, add me as soon as possible. So you give me a moment, you'll see me on screen. Hello. Yes, I'm in a suit. Just don't ask why. You get the achievements. And then you get the achievements. It's pretty cool. Find out who your friends are online. And then your messages. Message to all friends I shall read that later. And then you get your pictures up. A bug standard hub you get. So as you can see, I don't know what that was, but anyway. Perfect for exactly what I wanted. Microsoft Student Partner. And also in the pictures hub, straight from the Facebook, you get pictures as well. That's absolutely fantastic. So and so you can click on all. And what's great about this phone is that if you click it signed up to your Facebook, you get all the pictures ever. Let's have a look at my Windows 7 party stuff. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this method poster. There you go. Very large edition and my limited edition copy of Windows 7. Win. Of course, I'm not going to take a picture because you know how a picture's taken. If you want to know? Press that button, you hold it, and then look. 
You can take a picture. Let's have a take a picture of this random banana beer thing. And then look, you can press it again. Okay, not one of the best pictures, but you know, it's banana beer. You won't be able to see it on camera, but yeah, it's banana beer. And then some of the books. SP.net and me. And look at that potato man. God, I love him. Anyway, enough of that. And then, HTC Hub. It's only available on the HTC phones, but the majority of them in the UK are anyway. So apparently it's mostly cloudy at 8.15, let's see that change. It is now mostly cloudy, but at night time. Um, yeah, you doing the video? So there's uh, Tail Cruise, the Move 5, Play Sonic, which I won't get done for. Link to the song in the doobly do. So, of course, what you can do, you can play that, and then what you usually do is lock, and there you go. You get the marketplace. Good old place this is. And it loads up. It's a Ustream viewer. Which it's free, but only got two stars. Hopefully we'll see some good apps come on here pretty shortly. So you get everything's all in one place. So I'll show you another app in a minute. So today they're showing off the U for Speed Play FM. And let's have a look. What I used to do is I go into all, and as you can see, all featured apps, including Sims at 5.49. I mean, to be honest, the apps are expensive. I have to admit, in the UK they are pretty expensive. But there was many arguments that, at the end of the day, well, you go. Let's tie it down. So what I usually do is I go on to the um, new apps. I like this place. But of course you can find new apps. Now we have pen and paper, really do recommend that game. Right old laugh. Difficult but right old laugh. And I've shown you the video. I get my springy, because I'm not springy. And let's show another app. One last app. I mean there's loads of apps, you know, there's voice recorders at WordPress. You know, Shazam. Um, my vibe, which is a vibrator, no questions asked. You know, I am rich. There is a free version, by the way. Must, must stress that you do not buy that. Because some of them might range up to £600. Unless you are rich, go on then. But seriously, if you are rich, you wouldn't get a Windows phone. You'd probably get an iPhone. That's me just saying. Right, YouTube. So what I like doing... Of course. Going to search. Good upcoming band as well. Hope they don't mind me showing their video. We nearly got to bad views. So of course this is where it comes into play. The little kickstand. Of course, any advertising is good, but as you can see, the picture is actually pretty good. I mean, it's a lot more better when you actually have the device in front of you, but I like it actually. So let's have a quick dance to that, and then close the app.
in case they want to see me. And they, if they do come back, then you see this video, please, they're my they're good friends. But I don't know what else to say. Um, there's loads of apps. I will advertise this though. It's another use of the kickstand. It's a big blue clock. That's all it is. It's a clock. But a decent one at the same time. That's what I love about this um, app. It's that it actually, what it does, it disables the sleep on it. So, you can have it plugged in and then we will read the clock. Well, cool. Fair enough of that. So, we're running into 16 minutes. You probably all turned it off. But that's the walk through the Windows Phone 7 platform. Um, coming soon, probably by the time you watch this and you've probably fallen asleep. About mid February 2011 will be the cut and paste. And then more updates are coming soon. Of course, if you want to see the settings, yes, you can change your ringtone, but you can't add them yet. You can have flight mode, you can have Wi Fi, Bluetooth, still buggy, but it works. Email and account works. Yes, you can change your picture. So, if I really want to, I can change one of the lovely wallpapers which are supplied. Of course you can have a password as well, which is a four digit pin. So you've got location. Always great if you're on your phone, mobile network, date and time, brightness, keyboard, languages, ease of access, speech, which I will show you in a second. Nothing. And look you got feedback in the bell. So what you can do is you hold the thing, but there you go, live tiles. Boom. And hold that. Open flashlight. Starting flashlight. And then look. Flashlight works, everybody. And of course, you probably going, hey, but you mean you need to do that. Open YouTube. Starting YouTube. And there you go. Of course, you wouldn't do it in a lecture and say if you wanted this. Open Twitter. Starting Twitter. Now, I mean, it's fantastic how easy it is. And I'll do one more if anyone really loves it. Open Facebook. Starting Facebook. Perfect. It's great if you're lazy. Not like me, because I like to have it all in front of me. But yeah, that's it everybody. Um, you're probably now wondering, hey, you've just been talking about the platform, nothing else. Okay, I'll end up with a part of me final review. The phone is fantastic. It is literally that scratch resistant. And I've got me case. No, I haven't. I would seriously recommend um, getting a new battery for it. Um, you can grab one for about 650 I will put the link in doobly doo for that battery. From B BMC Digital, I think. But yeah, six pound fifty. And what I love is this is another quick review. It's a nice little case. Opens up, and it you just stick your phone in there, which allows you to have the thing. So there you go. It's a nice hard case. Covers the um, screen. And literally, I've had this for about two months with like the um, original supply case, as you can probably hopefully see. Probably you won't. But yeah. And when that was like the screen was full thing, no scratch at all. So HTC HD7, 4.3 inch screen, it's absolutely lovely. More spec details down at the bottom of the doobly doo. So. I think I shall leave it there. If you've got any other questions, you know, you can um, contact me on YouTube. So, I think I will end this video, because you've all probably fallen asleep now. And it's Windows 7 Vlogger, I'll catch you guys in the next video.